The most redneck states in America are now, one by one, legalizing cannabis for medical use while socialist utopia Sweden has been cracking down on CBD oil. This is non-psychoactive oil that we're talking about here, which forces us to reconsider the true meaning of progressive. Maybe progressive doesn't spell third trimester abortion. Maybe it means looking out for your people, which conservative Christian American states are showing themselves to be a lot more open-minded than Sweden right now. Hi everyone, investigative foreigner here. I have two fractures in my hand after an accident at the gym, which by the way I started going to because all of your hundreds of comments about how fat and disgusting I've gotten. I haven't really been able to wipe my ass properly for a month, so are you happy? Are you happy? So as I'm sitting there with the doctor, I start thinking, I wonder if it's true what people are saying. You know how there's an opiate epidemic in America? Well, Sweden isn't that much better, we just don't talk about it, as with anything else. For example, 1 out of 10 Swedes are on antidepressants. That's a pretty high number. Between 2006 and 2013, prescriptions of benzos increased with 22%, and we're talking kids, teenagers, and young adults here. And a lot of people are given these drugs in complete violation of international, as well as Swedish guidelines. This study also showed that 65% of kids and young adults that are given these benzos get them through primary care. So it's like at the first stop. It's not experts in psychiatry that are subscribing this shit. Now I know there's a difference between SSRI and benzos, but my greater point here is that it almost seems like there's a tradition within psychiatry and, and healthcare to give people drugs instead of help. So I wanted to see how true it was, and uh, yeah, uh, first visit, I got some oxy. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, heroin and prescription opiates are pretty much the same thing. They're both opiates, they both have horrible withdrawals. Only difference is one is purchased on the streets and the other is legitimized by an establishment much more socially acceptable and thus you're more likely to try it. A lot of people who get oxy move on to heroin. A lot of people who do heroin prefer oxy. Both of those happen and it should give you an idea of what a clusterfuck this is. Here in Sweden they recently made CBD oil illegal. So we're talking about non-psychoactive hemp oil. Essentially vegetable oil was made illegal. Previous legislation stated that industrial hemp, meaning sober cannabis that doesn't get you high since it has below 1% THC, you're allowed to produce and own since it doesn't qualify as a drug. But then people made it into an oil and started using it for all kinds of medicine, testifying that this one oil was helping them more than the numerous traditional pills they're forced to take all at once. At this point, when Sweden starts cracking down and trying to make CBD illegal, when it has only helped people and hasn't hurt anyone. It doesn't even qualify as a drug. But Sweden's medical products agency jumped through hoops to get rid of this entirely harmless medicine. By labeling CBD a pharmaceutical, they essentially banned its sale in practice. This way the product is stuck in a legal limbo where companies can try to apply, but the medical products agency can always say it needs needs further testing, and therefore isn't safe enough to be released to the public, while the same agency is responsible for people getting addicted to opiates that they labeled medicine. Funny how that works. They shut down three Swedish companies over this, and the case is still pending, so you're not allowed to sell regular CBD oil in Sweden. However, there is a legal loophole situation with the European Union, so if a Swede sets up their company in a different country and makes sure that there's 0% THC in that oil, as opposed to the 0.2% it normally would have had, you can still order some. But it's obvious that the government is doing as much as it can to take away people's right to heal themselves. At the same time I'm reading about how the coke, meth, and heroin industry, sorry, sorry I mean the medical companies, the pharmaceutical companies, is investing 700 million into Swedish hospitals and doctors. And I feel like this just confirms a lot of prejudice because I have friends who have gone to the doctor saying they have anxiety issues or sleeping issues and they get benzo very quickly. It's like they're very eager to give you the heaviest shit they can think of. Oh, you can't sleep? Well, here's some dope! Every time I talk about stuff like this, Swedes surround me with annoying stupid comments about how I'm paranoid and how doctors are really good and don't ever do anything wrong. And of course, we're not corrupt like America. Well, I got a question for you, Sven. 
How come heroin is essentially legal in Sweden, while vegetable oil isn't? Just because it's peddled through the establishment, people think it's safe. I'm not saying all the pills you get from the doctors are illegitimate. I'm saying it's insane that people aren't allowed to choose better, healthier alternatives. Progressive Sweden, with its puritanical Nixon-esque drug policy, has the second highest drug deaths in all of Europe. Compare that to Portugal, who has a liberal policy, actually liberal policy, a country that's decriminalized all drugs, has some of the absolute lowest. In the United States, drug overdose has been one of the leading causes of death, and since 1999, 400,000 Americans have died from opiates. A lot of those people died just because they went to the wrong doctor, just because they were too trusting of their doctors. So maybe a little bit, just a little bit of skepticism can be helpful. A lot of people like to think that the opiate epidemic is a unique American problem, but I don't think there's too much difference between our countries here. So don't tell me that you're progressive, don't tell me that you're doing fine, and don't tell me that this piece of shit right here is medicine. I'm gonna flush this down the toilet now, because I'm not a junkie, and I don't want to become one either. That's all for this video. Namaste!